Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, the reason why I'm not on camera with my face is because this video is not about my face. It's about this little guy right here. It's the brand new Space Mouse Wireless Bluetooth Edition. Now, the reason why I'm doing a video on it is because I did a video on its bigger brother, the Space Mouse uh, Pro, right? Uh, also a Bluetooth edition. And a lot of you commented, well, that's a lot of uh, 3D mouse and uh, it's a hefty price, right? Aren't there any uh, cheaper alternatives to give you that same uh, Space Mouse sensation, right? And yet yeah, now there is because this is a brand new device. It is super small, it's compact, it's uh, very heavy, which is good because when I move this around, the mouse is not going anywhere, right? I can push it super solid. So in this video, we're going to go through the specs. I'm going to show you how it works in Blender, and we're going to talk about the benefits, right? And then in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be uh, doing a video on its bigger brother, the Enterprise Edition. So stay tuned, right? For now, let's jump into the specs, and then we're going to go into Blender. Here we go. All right, everybody, so the Space Mouse Wireless Bluetooth Edition, um, a new addition to the lineup of uh, 3D Connection. Now, uh, if you're not aware of what their product line is, uh, let me quickly take you through that, right? So if you go up to Space Mouse, they also have a CAD mouse, which is more like a regular mouse, right? And a keyboard kit with a numpad and all that. But let's focus on the Space Mouse lineup. We have, let's start from the top here, a Space Mouse Enterprise. That's the big boy, right? Top of the line, professional users that switch uh, between uh, CAD programs and other programs, tons of functionality, buttons you can customize, and so forth and so on. Now, this thing is so big and it has a permanent place on your desk, so there's really no need for that to be wireless, right? Pretty hefty price, 482 bucks, including VAT, but nevertheless, it's worth it. And if you stay tuned on my channel, I will be reviewing this guy in a couple of weeks, right? So don't miss that. All right, next one, the Pro Wireless version, Space Mouse Pro. Now, I reviewed this a couple of weeks ago, and it still has a ton of uh, customization uh, possibilities. Here you have buttons to flip to top, left, right, and so forth. If you, for example, are in Maya, uh, you can frame up your object in the middle by just hitting this button. Of course, we have the main button, which is uh, quite important. And here you have more buttons to, uh, to work with. Now, if you want to see that review, I'll put a link up here and down there, and you can check that out, okay? All right, moving on. So we have the same mouse, but this time with a cable, right? If you don't want this to be wireless, uh, you can save a few bucks. It will be $361 or euros, including VAT, okay? All right, let's jump to today's video, the Space Mouse Wireless, right? Now, there's a version with a cable. This is the Bluetooth edition, and here it makes absolute sense that it's a Bluetooth edition because this is small enough to travel with, right? And I absolutely love the fact that I can do that. I can put the dongle into my laptop. I can take this with me in my laptop bag and anywhere I wanna work with this, it's ready to go. Uh, this guy has two buttons that you can uh, use for various functions that I will show uh, you in Blender in a minute. But, uh, you know, for example, flip from top to side view and so forth, that kind of thing. But again, I'll show you. In the back, there's a USB charging port. There's a LED indicator, so you can see that's on. And on the back, there's also an on and off switch. Now, you can charge it through USB-C, but let's say you're not using it on a daily basis. You can have it sit on your desk and just simply turn it off to save that charge, if you will, right? So this guy comes in at 192 bucks, right? Which is, uh, that's including VAT, and that is uh, a lot more uh, reachable for a lot of people. But if that's still too much for you, then there's also a wired version. Now this one is 192. If you go to the one uh, with the cable instead, instead of 192, it's 168. So very small difference. And for that difference, I would definitely go with the wireless version. 
Okay, now that you have a general idea and general impression of their lineup and of um, this version right here, let's jump into Blender and I'll show you real time what it can do. All right, here we go. Okay, let's get to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this guy so you can see the back here, right? So we've got the USB-C port for charging and we have an on and off button here, right? This guy. So when I turn it on, you'll get a blue LED indicator that's turned on, right? And then I'm going to rotate it so the charging port is in the back. And I can basically operate this with two fingers. Now, normally my hand would be on top of this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to try to do it with two fingers because I want to see what's going on, uh, because I want you to see what's going on, right? Okay. Now, uh, if we look at the screen here, you see if I simply rotate to the left, my object will rotate to the left. If I rotate to the right, there you go. If I just rotate and hold, it will just keep on going, right? There you go. What if I want to go up? I can go up. I can go down simply by pulling or pushing, right? I can do all of that. Now, this is a very simple device, but it's also very, very powerful, right? I got two buttons, one here and one here. Now, this button, if I push it, I'll get this little window here, and I have to push it again, so right there. I got a virtual numpad, which is basically what you can see on the screen. There you go. If I push it again, I can do undo or redo quite uh, quickly. And then I also have the option to go to properties. If I go to properties, I can choose what I want to work on, right? In my situation, I have multiple devices going on here. I got the receiver, right? I have the Space Mouse Wireless, and I also have the, uh, the Pro version, but it's not turned on, right? Okay, so I selected this one, and I'm gonna go to, for example, buttons. In the buttons menu, I can say what I want it to do, right? Common tools, views. I can go in here and I can say, I want you to start an application when I push on that button, or I want you to do something else, right? Now let's go back. Let's close that and let's look at advanced settings. In advanced settings, you can customize what you want the buttons or the knob to do, right? So for example, this button right here is set up in a certain way. What if I want that to be reversed? What if I want uh, um, to react if I push on the button that the object goes up and if I pull on it, the object goes down? You can tweak all of that, right? You can turn the LEDs off, you can do a calibration if you want, all customizable, right? So that's the left button. Okay, so we talked about the left button. Let's talk about the right button, okay? So whenever I push that button, a menu will appear uh, at the position where my cursor is, right? So I push on the button and I have the option top view, front view, right view, and fit view. And they do exactly what you expect, right? If I click on front view, it will jump to front view. Click on it again, right view. Now, if you want to move even faster than that, uh, a really neat thing is you can push on the button, go to the view you want, let's say top view, but instead of moving up and clicking on it, you just push your mouse up over that menu like this. Boom, right? Let's do that again. Do it again. Very, very intuitive, right? So yeah, uh, for a device that has uh, one main button and two side buttons, there's not a lot more I can say about it, right? I can only say that for me, it's an absolute favorite, it's affordable, it's uh, something that will uh, improve your workflow a lot. And if I'm completely honest, it's a very cool thing to have, right? So yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think and let me know which device uh, has your preference. And like I said, in a few weeks, I'll be looking at the big boy, right? Okay, hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.